Hello and welcome to Worcester and a rather chilly Agra Stadium here in the Black Country. We're here for the National League North game between Kidderminster Harriers and Spennymore Town. Hopefully looking to bounce back from last week and that 2-1 defeat at home to Kettering Town then. Only Bradford Park Avenue have a worse record than Kidderminster Harriers at home this season though, collecting just 11 points from a possible 39. Number one is Matt Gold, number two is Tyler Forbes, number three, Lewis Putroid, number four, Jamie Chandler, number five, Nathan Buddle, number six, James Curtis, who captains the side this afternoon, number seven, James Roberts, number eight, Shane Henry, number nine, Glenn Taylor, number ten, Rob Ramshaw, and number eleven, Andrew Johnson. On the bench for this afternoon, number twelve, Chris Mason, number fourteen, Jack Earing, number fifteen, Mark Anderson, number sixteen, Adam Boys, and number seventeen, Gavin Cogton. Taylor passes back to Chandler in the centre circle, spreads it out to right back Tyler Forbes. Noah's trying to take their first attack of the game down this right hand side. Yeah, the brightest side. The brightest so far, just run a bit more going forward. We've only had that one kind of bit with a free kick with Buck Lloyd on the same near side. But... Wait and see how that play develops with a lovely ball from Butchard to Ramshaw inside the penalty area. Has he got the beat to Keith Lowe? No, an excellent recovery. Slamming challenge from Keith Lowe. Just to have a corner as a result. Played into the box from Andrew Johnson. Buddle trying to get something on that. It will fall to Butchard, Butchard down low is my old man here, and that's a fantastic save. Butchard couldn't have picked the corner out anymore, but it's just a great save. Could have entered a slightly dominating possession so far, but a lovely ball forward into the feet of Austin Samuels, who's found in Ashley Hemmings. Goes back to Sam Austin. Austin to Shenton inside the penalty area. I was just about to screen goal, but I think Nathan Buddle got a fantastic block on it under a header from Oli Shenton. This corner kick. He was third corner of the game already, and all of them have been from that side. Johnson takes the ball in. Looking for the header, Glenn oh. Taylor. Did it come off Glenn Taylor? I think it. Yeah. Might have just got a little nick off him, and it's just past the post. I thought Glenn was on the end of that. Great ball in by Johnson. A bit of archie badger between Taylor and Ryan Johnson. Cliff Moyer passing back to Sam Austin. Austin, going further forward to Hemmings. Hemmings away from Butroyd, wonderfully, and driving forward towards the Moors goal now. Played in field for Austin Samuels. Tyler Forbes off the line. Fantastic recovering from the right back, who just nipped in. Matt Gold was beating the ball, was past him. Forbes had to get some connection on the ball and get away from the goal, and he did just that. Milan Butterfield's this possessed Jamie Chandler high up, and it's found Austin Samuels inside the penalty area. Again, another appeal for a handball from James Curtis. That's the third in the first half, but again, no doing says the referee was already on the deck. Milan Butterfield with a curling effort. That's high over the bar. And they're taking this free kick quickly. Chambers in field. Hemmings will shoot 25 yards from goal. Matt Gold has spilt it. And it's just past the post. That took a bubble just in front of him. Matt Gold palmed it. I think he tried to grasp it, but he, it's again. he's again. taking the resulting corner. Hemmings takes the corner into the penalty. Matt Gold tips this time and could find Jamie Chandler actually. He moves the break away. If they've got Pierce going forward with Ramshot. Ramshot kind of clip ball forward to the right hand side for Glenn Taylor. Taylor will keep this in. He's got Shenton ahead of him. He's using the advancing runner James Roberts and Tyler Forbes ahead of him. Roberts infield to Forbes inside the penalty area. Trying a back stick. Yes, get in! Rob Bradshaw at the back stick. It's a fantastic break away from Lewis. Lovely play on this right hand side between Roberts, Taylor, and the advancing Tyler Forbes. They've gone inside the penalty area, played along the six yard line. Bradshaw was ready to tap at the back stick, and yeah. Lewis lead against the run of play, you'd have to say, but so, yeah. we'll take it every day of the week. That's how you. You do a counter attack. What a what a goal from, from start to finish there. Brilliant play. Great play by James Roberts who spotted the rub of Tyler Forbes who brought forward. Forbes kept his composure to be fair, great ball across. And that's what Ramshaw obviously from that number 10 role. Always alert, always energy in the box, right place, right time. 1-0 Lewis. Top deep from his role at number nine. Playing back to Alex Crosser. Crosser back to Milan Butterfield as they work the ball down this right hand side. Hemmings on the half turn trying to get away from Shane Henry. He's past the further down line for Sam Austin. Austin drifting in field, 18 yards out from goal. Lovely ball into Austin Samuels inside the penalty area. Back to Hemmings. Crosser on the 18 yard line. Taylor 
He's Drifter brought that kicked again. his heels there, and it's going to be a dangerous free kick for Kidderminster. But it looks to be Hemmings and Prosser standing over this one. 14 yards up from goal. Hemmings will unleash the shot. Hit the wall first time, Vaskin. Off the line by Glenn Taylor. That's not what he's there for. He's there to put them in at the other end. But he's cleared that one right off the bottom corner. Let's get him into the look to equalise straight away. They begin the ball well though from Sam Austin, who's then kicked it straight out of play. And for the second time this afternoon, field. Butterfield, back out to the right for Cliff Moyo. Moyo crossing the halfway line and finding Sam Austin with the pass. Back to Alex Prosser, clip all over the top, trying to release Austin Samuels. James Curtis gives the ball away to Sam Austin, not Austin Samuels. Finds a clip ball over the top for Hemmings. Oh, it's a lovely clipped ball over the top. And Ashley Chambers heads over Matt Golden into the net. And Mewers weren't ahead for long. And it's that man again. We said he's always scoring against Spelling Mewers. He's done it again. Ashley Chambers, an interesting statistic is that he scored over one third of Kidderminster Harriers' goals in the league this season. He and he's not the other one there. He absolutely lives for games against Spenny Moas and Chambers. Even game second half, and you have to say Kidderminster probably dominated the first. Those have been the better side second half. Yeah, we've got much more composed. Here come Kidderminster though, down this left hand side. Johnson with a high ball into the penalty area. Hemmings tucks the ball into the back of the net, but he's offside. He's ahead of it. Beat Matt Gould. It's a great ball into the penalty area. Matt Gould to take this free kick that's more like a goal kick because it's straight on a six yard line. Shane Henry underneath this one. Lovely little flick on to find Glenn Taylor. Feeds in Rob Ramshaw. Ramshaw tried to beat Oli Shenton and playing James Roberts, but the ball over the top is evaded him and it's Samuels inside the penalty area taking it around Matt Gould. It will bobble and Matt Gould thankfully palms that away from a corner. Exactly where he would like to take this free kick delivery. In the middle between the touchline and the penalty area. Johnson will shoot and it's oh. clipped off the bar. And that was a chance there. I don't think that was what Johnson was intending. Cool. Kick down the right hand side. Glenn Taylor for a header against Keith Look. Taylor wins the second ball, trying to feed in Johnson. Johnson lets it run and getting it on his left foot. Finds in Taylor. Taylor with the shot. Down low is Will Mannion. Right in the corner again. Challenge momentarily by Butchroy, but Kidder missed the return the ball. Chambers. He's got James Curtis ahead of him. He has to use the play. Play one two with Sam Austinson. Move away from him. Hemmings takes the ball away from Butchroy. He plays in field for Ashley Chambers inside the penalty area. Chambers will shoot. That's on target. Clean off the line again. I think it was Tyler Forbes for the second time of asking this afternoon who tips it off the goal line. In fact, Kidder is still on body inside the Mirror's net. Kidder is still breaking forward through Sam Austin. Back for Cliff Moyo. Moyo playing a one-two with Prosser to get towards the byline. Inside the penalty area, Matt Gould calls and claims well. Butterfield does well to let the ball run and he got a little lucky to Nick it away from James side, Roberts. There's a little space here. There's no space on the right hand side. They opted to go left for Davidson. Davidson will click the ball into the belly again. James is free! And his head is over the bar. And it is a goal kick. He's appealing, he got a nick, but Ashley Chambers should have done better there, yeah, Jack. He had all chance. the time in the world. Kicks that ball forward, looking for Rob Ramshaw. Ramshaw chests well. It's a fantastic ball from Anderson. Rob Ramshaw tried to beat. Corey Davidson was unable to do so. Referee Matt Cortlett puts the whistle to his mouth, blows for full time. It finishes here at Agra. Kidderminster Harriers won, Spenny Moore Town won. Both goals came in the first half. The opener in the 36th minute from Rob Ramshaw after great play on the right hand side from James Roberts and Tyler Forbes, who cut the ball back along the six yard line. Ramshaw was at the back post to tap into an empty net. But that lead didn't last long. Kidderminster equalised instantaneously in the 40th minute with Ashley Chambers who always seems to score against us who headed over Matt Gould who would come off his goal line 